my creatures, big please go room, chest delicious cancer. Welcome to your love tarot reading, Erica Dara, baby. Today we are doing you first test. Then we're gonna see what's going on between you and your pretty my boo boo. Whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage, <laughs> snake in the grass, alien from space. All right, <clears throat> boo boo. Your mommy's lost her voice again. This time it's my fault, all right? I don't know, if you watch my channel, you know I've had voice issues. And it is like, you know, magical and psychosomatic because sometimes the spirits do give me must channel must just through my body, like literally. But this time it was, I was screaming in the wind and the rain, screaming like the banshee that I am. All right, enough about me. But Bill, um, <clears throat> all right, so we assume some kind of a rotary separation between you and your baby. This is, um, it's the end of November. Let's just say this is your coming into December energy. Oh, this person's being very mysterious. They don't know how to feel about the situation. They're running away from themselves, the two of swords. Someone did you a bit bill, and they're trying to um, tell themselves they didn't, you know? Like, you know, they literally left the poo, -poo at your doorstep, and they're like, I didn't, I, I didn't do that. <laughs> you know, it wasn't me. But they're like, in their own mind, you know, this is someone who's trying not to think about it. This is someone who's trying not to admit to what they did before themselves. They do feel a sense of shame, but it's all kind of hidden away, deeply repressed. The Eight of Cups. So someone did walk, like, there's, this is a separation. Either you walked away because someone did you a bit boo or they walked away out of shame almost preemptively. You know, you found out about the, uh, the bit bill the bit bill actually. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> you found out about the wrongdoing, and it was impossible for this to continue. They do see you as someone who very justly judged them. Um... Not in the best terms, can't dare, my baby. Not in the best terms, justice herself, you know, karma. The goddess Ma'at <clears throat> weighed this person up and found them lacking. So let's see what happened in the past to make the situation. So it's going to be okay, can't dare. Don't worry. This person knows they did you dirty. They know they did you dirty. I love you, boo, boo Also, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot, my baby. I love you and I see you. I give your mommy a kiss. Mm. Hope you're doing so fine today. It is a Thursday. It is, is it the 30th? Yeah, it's the 30th of November. So may it be our lucky day, baby. All right, so let's see. Although you'll probably be seeing this at night. All right, the lovers. I mean, this person was always choosing you. You know, if it was a bimbo, himbo, anyone between you went on Tinder on a Tuesday, they've always been choosing you. There's no question this person loved you. They could have a dual nature to them. They could have, there's something to them that's like, you know, a second layer. And that was the boo boo. They did you. There were secrets here, things that weren't clear, uh, moves that weren't made. If it was a new energy, it was someone who... You know, they came into the dating situation very keen and very, you know, maybe even like overly keen, suspiciously keen. Um, this is someone who could have said, I love you way too early. And that was a red flag. And, you know, you were kind of like in the five of wands energy here, Keith, there, you were like, I don't trust this. I don't know. And you question, and whenever you question this person, <laughs> or, you know, put up a boundary, they would like strike back, you know? And it became like a bit of a push and pull here. Um, a competition of words, semantics. This person is a liar. This person is a liar. They do choose you. They were, in what they were saying, it was true. They do love you. They could be, but they're a liar. There's something weird about them. There's something weird to, to their nature. This is like a psychopath energy because we get those a lot. Of, <laughs> I'm a scary baby, as you know. Grab a crustacean. Um, I know, I know, everyone says it's not a crustacean, but whatever. We're both crustaceans in my mind, in my, the, you know, nation of my mind, my imagination. Um, <clears throat> the King of Swords. The King of Swords clarifying this. Yeah, it's someone, you know, you're dealing with like, you know, like a great eminence. I'm telling you, this person wasn't 100% honest with you about certain things. You could feel it. You would push back. They would push right back at you. They weren't honest about their own very, very own nature. Like they had their own little secrets. It could be a we it could be a weird Aquarian energy or it, or it could be like a weird Gemini or a weird Scorpio actually. But there's something very weird, a gray eminence. They weren't honest about like I don't even, even know like their own job, like what they do. Maybe what they do is a little bit fishy. Something smells of fish. 
something smells like a fresh hair, and I don't mean the good kind of tuna, you know what I mean? Like the two of pentacles between you. They were kind of like in and out, or you felt like, I mean, they love you, but they're like, you know, there's a duality to this person. So let's see what's truly going on. King of Swords. This could be so, you know what? You could be dealing with a widow or a widower. Anyone in between? <sighs> Page of Cups. They were hiding a part of themselves. This isn't someone who is hiding, you know, like, because, um, you know, this happens a lot. People lie about being single and stuff. I don't think this person lied about being single. They lied about, like, their own very nature. Like, their inner child, the Page of Cups. Their inner child was the lie. Mm, they were also... They were in love with you, but there's something to their lifestyle that's kind of weird. It's like someone who's been single for a long time, or they got burnt, or because a spouse died in the past, they're like, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't want to commit. I don't want to, you know, like they were just like panicking emotionally about committing. And this person made you feel like they were juggling you. You felt that like, you know, are you talking to other people? Are you juggling me? What's going on? This person could also have a child uh, that's from... Uh, a union where that person passed away or they lost them in some kind of a catastrophic way you know there's some there's a catastrophe to this person mm, a lot of little secrets but they're not that this is what I mean like I don't think they were talking to other people I don't think they were uh, cheating but I think they were like, just keeping their life just being very secretive mm, I mean, could be someone who's involved in some you know small crimes, small crimes um, or big crimes even they didn't like to tell you their business. Could be someone with money or power who has a child or children, and they came into the connection as a bimbo, himbo, anyone between you might on Tinder on a Tuesday, a new energy, and they were like, well, you know, my life is mine. You know, this is my life. I, this is my life we're talking about, but they didn't consider you. But at the same time, they were almost love bombing you. If it was an established connection, I do see a lot of conflict. I felt like you were always competing with other things in their life. This is someone who was always juggling you with quite possibly a past relationship or again, children from a past marriage or union partnership <clears throat> where the spouse had passed away or left them in a state of mourning. So, you know, there was like some kind of desolation, um, destruction in their life before they met you and then you know you had your long-term relationship you always felt like this person was juggling you with the two of pentacles you were always juggling you um and also their own self you know they weren't it was like a cold energy they weren't telling you things about how they feel and this is what you need Kinter. as water signs we need that connection we need that you know back and forth of the sea so you know of the water the water feels deep and runs deep, and this person didn't want to do that. They wanted to always be um, protecting their own emotions against disappointment. Now, it's interesting because their intentions, you have the Queen of Swords, so there you go. Mm, King and Queen of Swords, they do, um, I'll be honest with you, if they could choose, if, they could, if their mind could choose over their soul and their heart, they would just cut themselves off from you, but they can't. <laughs> this is the problem because deep inside this person knows and feels that you are their soulmate. Now, whether you think that is another, doesn't mean they are, but that's how they perceive it. In terms of what to expect from them, by the end of the year or in January, someone's reaching out here with the star. Uh, Aquarian energy, so again, this coldness, you know, this cold Aquarian energy from the King of Swords is coming back in, in the star energy of scrumptiousness. So this is someone who's going to come in and almost like try and fulfill all your wishes. So they are returning with um, a new iteration of themselves. They're keeping quiet at the moment. They're trying not to think about what they did. This is someone who did you a bit bill. What was the bit bill? They failed you. They didn't stand up to conflict. Maybe it's someone who didn't defend you even before themselves and they were keeping secrets. They were just not being honest about their feelings, not talking to you, shutting you out. And then the Nine of Cups. Cancer, you know what? I'm not sure if I like this person. It's a bit of a weirdo, but if you want this weirdo, it is yours. Like, you know, they will do everything you asked them to in the past. Now they're coming back to do the right thing, the Nine of Cups. Do you want them? Let's see. What is the advice for my baby Kinter? Mm. Six of Swords. Well, don't forget how, I mean, can you rely on them? Don't forget how they left you in a time of emotional need. Can they fix this? And some wounds cannot be fixed. This is the thing. But, you know, when it's true love, if you love them back, you, you know, it is possible. It is possible. A new start, Ace of Swords, but it's painful.
There's a lot of pain this person caused you. So your advice is don't forget it, but also think about how that can be uh, healed and uh, remedied. All right, my baby, this is what I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below. This is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on that notification button because it really helps your mommy out with the AI overlords, especially comments. Leave me a little comment today for the algorithm, for the robots. Oh, baby, if you are interested in a personal reading, all the information is in the description box below. Also, info on my um, coaching services and spell work if you're interested in purchasing a spell this winter season. I love you, my baby. Be safe, but please stay good, just stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.